all you coin collectors out there and let's go on a search for the elusive 25 pence coin from Great Britain. And it turns out that many people don't believe there is a 25 pence coin and they say they've never seen one, never used one, there isn't any such thing as one and it turns out that there is a 25 pence coin from Great Britain. Now it's not this one. We're looking at this and we're saying okay that's a 20p that looks kind of like a 5p. There's 20p right there. 2014 and 5p right here from 1976. This looks like a proof coin, doesn't it? It is. So there's 25p there. Is that it? No, that's not one coin. So that does not count. How about this one? 25p. It's got the kind of funky edges and stuff. Flip it over. Nope. That's a 50 new pence coin, right? 50 new pence from 1975. So that's not going to do us any good. This one's a half crown. This is the closest we have in our collection except for the 25p. And here's the half crown from 1956. And it turns out that the 25p coin is worth the same thing as a crown or a one crown coin from 1956, which is 60 pence or one quarter of a British pound. So the one crown coin from, uh, from the pre-decimal age was equal to one quarter of a British pound. Well, they said, let's put something out to replace that kind of as a specialty coin. And in 1972, they put out a coin and it's right underneath this piece of paper. And it was a non-circulating coin, but they had to give it a value because this was before the, the Royal Mint was putting out all these kind of fake bullion-like coins. And I don't mean fake in the sense they're not real. I mean fake in the sense that they aren't of circulating value. So in 1972, they said, we're going to put out a coin, but we need to give it a value. And they gave this one the value of 25 pence. This is a heavy coin, a wicked heavy coin. It's copper nickel, um, but it is a proof coin. And so if we look at it, we see this as DG Reg FD Elizabeth II. And here's the deal with this particular coin. And that is that it came in the 1972 mint set. It's a reeded rim. And if we flip it over, we see that it is the Elizabeth and Philip, it says at the top. Well, of course, what they mean by that is Queen Elizabeth II. And what they mean by Philip is, of course, her spouse, Philip. We have EP with a crown above it. And it says 20 November 1947 to 1972. So Queen Elizabeth II was married to her husband Philip on the 20th of November 1947. And their 25th anniversary was 1972. And the Royal Mint decided to put this coin in the set of proof coins. So the 1972 set of proof coins included this coin and they had to give it a value so they gave it the value of 25 pence. Now how big is it? It is hugely big. I'm going to be careful with this because I don't want to actually touch the coins necessarily. But you can see that it's way bigger than a half a crown. Way, way, way bigger than a 50p coin. It is a huge coin. It is a heavy coin. Um, and it is a rare coin because it only came out in the mint sets and, and then the special one-off kind of sets that, that weren't, didn't have all the mint coins but just had this one coin by itself. Does it have any value? Yeah, it's interesting because you look on the internet and you'll see that this coin on the internet sometimes will go from anywhere from 15 to $30. The trick, however, is that if you buy a 1972 mint set, 
not the silver mint set, but the regular mint set, you can often buy that for $15 US or less, and it'll include this coin. So why would you take this coin and buy it for $30 when you could buy the mint set with all the other coins in it and have this coin in addition only costing $50, $15 for all of them, and that's fifteen one five. So that's what I did. I bought the mint set. I broke the mint set open. I put the coin here, and you can see that it's just a finely, and you see the little cherub in there, and it's just really nice engraving. And this engraving, I should say, you know, I love to um, make sure that we... Um, I love to make sure that we mention the engravers, and this is an Arnold Machen engraving. And Arnold Machen, of course, is the same person who engraved the front of this coin, my favorite portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, the Arnold Machen Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara portrait. All right, so they made about 100,000 of these mint sets, maybe a few more. Um, if you want to get this coin here, get it in the mint set. It's actually cheaper than buying it on its own in many cases. And then you get all the other coins in the 1972 mint set with it. And that's a great deal. All right, so there is a 25p coin. It is this coin because they had to give it a monetary value. And now what they do in the mint sets when they put these big coins in is they call them five pound coins. Essentially, they don't have any value at all in general, if you brought this, this is supposed to have the value, the official value of 25p. Bring it down to the grocery store and try to pay 25p with this and see what they say. First off, what they should say is, great, I'll take it. But second off, what they might say is, hey, this coin, we don't recognize this is a 25p coin because we've never seen anything like this. And it doesn't say 25p anywhere on it, except if you look at the Royal Mint, the official value of this coin is 25p and this is a silver wedding anniversary coin and it also there is a another 25p uh, that came out as a silver jubilee coin in 1977 and we'll take a look at that in one of our next videos have a great day from dc coin world international coin channel